guaranteed rate field on the south side of Chicago. We've got a perfect night for baseball on the show. It's the Houston Astros going up against the Chicago White Sox. First pitch coming your way next. So almost ready to get underway and towing the slab in this one Jonathan Cannon and Chris he's a guy that gets better when things get tough. Well he's been a real quality starter for his club and coming into this one what stands out for me is that right handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year it seems they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone so we'll see how right handers do against him in this one. The pitch. Jose hey. Altuve stands in now oh, and watches strike one. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. And the right hander deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball, pitch after pitch, and that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. Now it's Alex Bregman. Yeah. That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. One out, base is empty. That one is absolutely belted. And that gets down in the corner. Now he turns and heads for second. In there safely. All over that one right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. What a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. And it's second with one away. And now it's going to be your Don Alvarez. He's done a great job making contact recently. Hitting better than... Oh, this ball's down. And that could bring in a run. They won't risk the send. Runners at the corners now with one away. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Runners at the corners here, one away. So now the Astros designated hitter. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Two on, one out. Ball one. I got a ball, one strike. That one way outside, two and one. Tough spot right here, a couple runners on, two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. That one inside, and that's ball three. Jeremy Pena, up next for the Astros. Runners at the corners, one away. And we're just getting started here in the top of the first. Three and two now. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. On the ground. They oh. get one. The tag gets him, and it's a double play to end the inning. So no runs on two base hits. No errors and one left on. Time for the White Sox to go to work. No score. At guaranteed rate field. Our starting pitcher in this one, Sean Dubin. 
Well, you can see his whip is a little above the league average. Not bad, but I think in this one, he's going to need to control that a little bit better. Try to limit hitters from getting on base. Stay in that windup instead of the stretch. And when he does allow base runners, be able to throw a pitch. He's going to get a swing and miss, get out of the inning so that a base hit doesn't do more damage and put his team behind the eight ball. Nicky Lopez in the box now. No balls and a strike. And that one clips the corner. Chases the changeup in the dirt. Got him. One away on the strikeout. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. Andrew Vaughn now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. That one finds the zone. That is strike two. The pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. The one two battling here as he fouls it away. Wouldn't two chase balls. that time. Ground ball to Bill. That's a base hit. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Man at first with one gone. Now here is Gavin Sheets. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. The belt and fires. Just off outside. the outside corner. And yeah, the count one and two. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. <laughs> this one in the dirt. No advance. Good job behind the dish. Hard grounder into the outfield for a nine. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. Now just a nice job coming through in a pretty high leverage spot right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. First and second, one out. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. Swings through that one for strike one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. Vaughn, the lead runner out at second. Sheets over at first, so one away. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. Cut on and miss. And the throw, he's out of third. Man at second. Ball, that's off the plate. Line drive, that's a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. 
His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out in front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Next to hit, Oscar Colas. And first offering is fouled off. Kicks and deals. A dive. He's got it. The throw. It's there. And that's a great play. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now 1-0. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. Jeremy Pena digs in now. Pena struggling on the road this season. Better results at home. Cannon back to work. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And now the count is even. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today, sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. And a wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start expanding what you're looking for, covering both sides. And with the stuff pitchers have today, you're just not going to have a lot of success. The shortstop takes the ball. Now a screamer into the outfield. And that should be extra bases. Into second base. The tying run is on with a leadoff double. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Mauricio Dubon. First pitch misses. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The pitch. Fouled off. He was late. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. And a count one and two. With the tying run at second, here at the top of the second. And a ball evens the count. And another ball. Victor Caratini waiting to hit for Houston. Three two on the way. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. Man at second. Swings and misses struck him out. Well, that's a blue zone right there, or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. Vic Caratini at the plate. On the ground, right side. Lopez throws the first in time. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Jose Abreu up to hit. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. That's a slider for a strike. Two outs and one in scoring position.
And now it's even up. Right through there for a strike. Looks like he's just sizing him up there. Really good pitch to hit, but he took it all the way. Sometimes guys just want to set their timing. Later on in the game, that may be a pitch that he turns on. Swing and a miss, and that is that. He's in a tough spot, had to make a great pitch, did it, got the strikeout, gets out of the jam. Clearly, he's happy with those results. Here on the south side, here's the rookie right fielder, Zach Deloach. And he deals. And that's a little bit high, and it's one to know. Foul ball. Righty delivers. So a foul ball makes it one and two. That's and that one two. missing low. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. He was able to execute the perfect pitch for that situation. Had been pounding him with fastballs, and then all of a sudden pulls out the changeup and has good enough command to make it competitive. Tell you what, varying speeds like that to a hitter can be really, really effective. And right there, you could tell that hitter was just overmatched. Lennon Sosa at the plate now. That's ball one. One down, base is empty. Ball and misses inside. inside. And that's in the dirt. And that's ball that's four. four. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk and. Guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Now, Corey Jolts. Definitely scuffling at the dish lately. Barely hitting over the Mendoza line this month. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Sosa, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Good approach right there. You want to get something just a little higher that you can elevate. Stay out of that double play. Run around the move. Swing and a miss. For the second. Well, I think that was a hit and run right there. When you look at how far that pitch was out of the zone and the hitter still trying to put wood on it, put it in play, that tells you that they had something going. But unfortunately, it was a good job of execution by the pitcher and the catcher to get that out of the zone and then throw out the runner at second base. Really nice job behind the dish. And the righty deals. Ground ball right side. Abreu. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. We played two innings. It's one to nothing. Back here on the south side, and now the right fielder, Trey Cabbage. Trey Cabbage. The wide to kick the pitch. Outside low. And that's ball one. Tried to backdoor him with that slider right there, but just missed off the plate. Good pitch, though. Get on the ground to the right side. Lopez in plenty of time to first. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. Jose Altuve up to hit here. Went down on strikes his first time through. 
And that's in for a strike. If I'm at the dish right now, I am aggressive over the heart of the plate. This guy's been filling up the strike zone, so you know you're going to get a good pitch to hit. And as nasty as his stuff is, you might as well take all three swings. And they get out two bay for the out. Two down. The third base number two. Here's Alex Bregman, doubled in his first A.B. That one is upstairs. Fly ball to right. Deloach makes the catch in and over. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Corey Lee. The right-hander back to work. On the ground to third. The throw to first. One gone, bottom of the third inning. The batter, number eight. Second baseman, Nicky. So the batting order turns over. Nicky Lopez now at the plate. 0 for 1 so far. On the inside corner for a strike. Line drive, base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Andrew Vaughn will hit next. And he's already singled in this game. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Dubin checks on first. Lopez back on a dive. Next offering is in for a strike. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Lopez over at first with one away. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. Going to now. Good eye in that spot. It's a good take. That's off the mark, and it's two and two. And that's downstairs and outside. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Here comes a pitch. This one smoked out to left. And it gets by him. Lopez makes the turn at second. Coming home. He scores, and they lead by two. But when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. One down. So up next for Chicago, Gavin Sheets. Pitch Ball misses one. there. Ball one. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. 
One out and a runner at second. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. That two misses. Balls. Two, two balls, strikes. two strikes. Next Where offering is, is outside. Ripped on a line. That's a fair ball, and it's getting into the corner. Run comes in from second, and they're up by three. And that's a double. Picks himself up an RBI. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. One out, runner at second. Paul DeYoung steps to the plate for the White Sox. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Exactly. Just off the inside edge. Man at second. Hey. The Astros have some action in their pen. Hunter Brown appears to be getting loose. Blanco warming up as well. And here it comes. One out, the runner at second. Here in the last half of the third. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Connect on the curveball struck him out. Chris, as we look back at the pitch sequence, he hadn't seen that curveball at all. How tough is it to adjust to something like that with a bunch of break when you haven't had a look at it yet? Yeah, I mean, you're dialed up for something firm. You never want to take a called third strike as a fastball, so you're going to be a little anxious before you recognize the pitch. And right there, clearly didn't see what was coming. And now the center fielder, Oscar Colas. That one finds the zone. Going one. On one. Runner at second, two down. That nope. one misses, on one. and it's a ball and a strike. Just missed. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. Man on second, two down. Ball over. Zach Deloach up next for the White Sox. Around third, fires it to the plate. It's off the mark, and he scores. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Flared it out there and got it to drop for the base hit. I think he got it off the handle just a little bit, but the bat held up for him enough to get something behind that swing. So Josh Hader gets the call to the mound. Left-handed batter at the plate, and he's been excellent in those matchups this year, so this seems like a calculated move. Now it's the right fielder, Zach Deloach. His first at bat was a strikeout. Ball one, no strikes. Hater, 30 years old now. He joined the team as a free agent. And now the lefty. That's a ball. Well, he looks more focused at the plate and working the count after that first at bat strikeout. Two outs. Yeah. 
In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds, they're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Way out front for strike two. <laughs> and misses it's a strikeout three runs on four hits no errors and one left on on to inning number four white Sox four and the astros nothing out of the fourth here's the left fielder you're don alvarez you're don alvarez cannon back to work that one misses one and oh A wind in the pitch. That's oh, inside, inside, and it's two and one. Now and another ball. Two. Expect for that guy to come right at you with a fastball, something in the zone, because he does not want to allow the leadoff wall. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Now so Singy, Number let's three. dive into the numbers courtesy of StatCast. Do you even feel contact being made when you hit a ball that hard? No, I don't think so, Boog. I mean, that's just the best feeling in the world as a hitter. You square it up perfectly, and it's like you didn't even swing the bat. And there are times the ball feels heavy off your bat. You know it, but this is not one of those cases. He sent this one flying 114 miles per hour, so that's flexing your muscles a little bit. On the ground to third, and it's through for a hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Everything came together for him. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle, allowed himself to stay back just a tad bit longer, and he hit the ball on the screws. Now let's see if they can string something together, make it a little more interesting. Pena batting for the second time, and that's strike one. The White Sox leading by four, top half of inning number four. The shortstop takes a ball. He was looking to come up with the shutdown inning and off to a shaky start. Here's a 1 1. Wouldn't Ball chase two. that time. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. That one fouled off, two and two. And a pitch. Gets a piece there, we'll do it again. That misses the zone, and it's three and two. First and second here, no outs. Ground ball left side could be two. Throw is high and over his head. Pulls him to third safely. A run comes in on the play. The center field, number 14, Mauricio Dubon. So digging in, Mauricio Dubon. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. Right through there for a strike. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. 
line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate, and now they trail by one. Big swing of the bat right there. Just clutch hitting to get him back within one. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Now the White Sox manager is out of the dugout and will make a move to the pen. Jonathan Cannon done for the night, and he had to battle. Nothing came easy in this start, but he leaves with the lead. New arm when we get new pitcher for the White Sox, number 49. And as relievers go, he's not a big strikeout guy. He tries to force weak contact, so command and execution are huge for him. Victor Caratini up next for the Astros. Grounded out his first time. And that one is lifted in the air. Brings it in. Now that the first baseman, Jose Abreu. And now the first baseman, Jose Abreu. He's all for one. That one's in there. And that is strike one. Activity in the bullpen. James Guzman up and loosening in the pen. Kicks and fires. And fouled off. With two strikes, may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Hit on the ground, might be two. Off balance speed, there's one. And their second double play of the day will end the fourth. So they get three runs, three hits, one error, no one left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. White Sox four. And yeah, the Astros three. And we're back. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Lennon Sosa. And the pitch. Popped up right side. Altuve under it and there's one down that was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate had pretty good timing on it just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up Corey Jolks steps to the plate for the White Sox that one fouled off so now the heart throwing left hander Josh Hader on the hill and when you look at the start of Hader's career pretty incredible arguably one of the top beginnings to a career for any reliever in history Altuve oh. slings to first two up two down up next to Chicago the catcher Corey Lee here's Corey Lee 0 for 1 he grounded out in his first at bat. And that one's a little bit low. And yeah, that's ball one. That Just ball missed. Ball. And it is two and one. Back to back fastballs in. That last one called for a strike. Probably go away, but look for him to come back in there to try to finish you off. Two down, nobody on. To third. To first. Three up, three down, inning over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We're headed to the fifth. White Sox four. Yeah, the Astros three.
We're back, and on the mound is the closer, James Guzma. A chance at his first save of the year. Well, one run game, and now the right fielder, Trey Cabbage. And the pitch. And ball one to the right fielder. Ball one, no strike. That misses the zone, and now 2 and 0. Fought off foul. Looking to get the tying run on base. That's a little bit low. Jose Altuve up next for the Astros. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. And yeah, there's ball four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now at least he gets a fresh start against a new batter, but he needs to get back into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Here's the former MVP, Jose Altuve. Well, a pretty good speed over there at first base. I think the pitcher's got to slow everything down, hold the ball a little bit, step off, just try to break the rhythm and timing of a potential base dealer. There's a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. That's outside. One and one. The guy at the plate could recognize slider out of the hand. Didn't stay in the tunnel very long in terms of depth and perception. He knew right away it was an off-speed pitch. A little bit low. Way to lay off that pitch down. Grounder might be two. Over to second for one. On the first double play. For me, that's one of the toughest double plays to turn on the infield. The first baseman has to get inside, create a throwing lane to hit that middle infielder to start the double play, and then from there, completing it back to first. Really good job all the way around. So it's their last chance in this one. And now it's Alex Bregman. Right through there for a strike. A one-run lead, and we're at the top of the fifth. Pitch yeah, misses ball, there, ball. and it's one and one. Guzma is just one strike away. Swing and a drive, deep right field. Deloach ranging back. And he's got it. Ball game. And the White Sox hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. 4-3, our final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shambi saying so long.